Hi, it's Terry from the Tips Team. We're just going to take a look at the new Chromebook. Uh, this is the Samsung 303 that will re be replacing the black uh, Samsung uh, 5 that we've been getting out. Alright, so... Uh, first thing you'll notice, it's a little smaller than the, uh, than the other Samsung. Comes in the box is the unit. Power adapter, and that's it. The, uh, doesn't, the other ones came with a dongle for video, but this one doesn't have that because you can see it actually has a uh, video out, an HDMI port in the back here. It also has uh, a USB and a uh, S, S USB here as well, as well as your power spot there. Over here is your SD card and your uh, audio in and out. That's it. All right, first thing out of the box, you notice we got to plug it in first time. Um, it'll come with charge on it, but you have to plug it in to kind of get it running. It's at a different spot than the last one. It's actually on the top, which might make it a little tougher for putting it in the cart. But you know, you're gonna put it in, plug it in before you slide it in. I guess is the option here. All right, then we open it up. Since it's a slightly smaller than the uh, than the original Chromebook, but I'll give you a look at that in a minute. Open it up for the first time and it comes to the configuration screen. So I'm just going to connect to a network. So I put in my credentials and off we go. It's going to connect. It's connected. Continue. I'm going to read and accept these terms. Got that? Right now it's just checking for updates. And it says system update available, preparing to download. Once this gets loaded up, we'll see what uh, OS it's running. While that's going, we'll just take a quick look at the comparison of the size between the Samsung 5 and the new Samsung 330. Right? It's, uh, the keyboard is the same size. You can see that there. Slightly larger, but it's also, um, sorry, the black 550 is slightly larger. It's a 12.1 screen versus 11.6 inch screen. Same resolution though. And uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but the new 330 is, is quite a bit slimmer. Let's give another look at these for the size perspective. Another big difference is the ports are in the back of the uh, the new one here. Okay, so it's finished the uh, update. That took about three minutes. And now it's coming up and asking me, it uh, refreshed, and it's asking me to connect to a network again. So I'm going to come in and connect again to Edmonton Public Schools, put in my credentials again. Connect. Now because this is a brand new device, the next thing I have to do is enroll it. So uh, when I get to this screen, you do not want to sign in at this screen, okay? This is typically where you sign in, but what I actually want to do, let me just adjust this a bit here, is hit Control, Alt, and E. And that actually brings me to an Enterprise Enrollment screen. It looks a bit different. It's just a bit wider, and here I'm going to use any, you can actually sign in with any valid ID. I'm going to use my own. And click sign in, and you'll probably see a real quick little notification that says enrolling the device. Please wait. And now, you can say your device has successfully been enrolled for enterprise management, and you're also going to see across the top um, little thing says this device is managed by share.epsp. And hit done. Now I could sign in here and go ahead, but because it's enrolled, now what I want to do is actually shut it down and um, 
it should come back and connect with our pre-configured Wi-Fi. Let's watch it boot up. There we go, pretty quick. And you can see down in the corner, it's actually connecting right now. It's actually connected to EPS Chrome Net, which is our uh, pre-configured um, uh, WPA key Wi-Fi network. All right, let's give you a little settings here. But now it's ready. It's connected to Wi-Fi automatically. It's uh, enrolled in epsb.ca, right? And now I'm just going to sign in. Off we go. It knows my... Uh, pulls in my profile photo <laughs> and signs me in and I'm ready to go. Actually has all the apps that the students might want to use, like Quick Launch, and they're familiar with this from uh, their desktops at school or